Hi guys, so it's been a while uh, since I am um, recording the video of, uh, you know, the short video of how to. Okay, so this video I'm gonna do the, the, the headstand and then go into the scorpion. So now, uh, if you don't know how to do a headstand, I would not recommend you to uh, practicing this, yeah, because you should be able to stay into the headstand for quite some time first before you go into the scorpion. So now the scorpion, it is uh, arm balance and also the, um, uh, what do you say? Uh, the back bend, yeah. Uh, so before you practicing this, um, please uh, practicing or prepare your body into the into uh, the back bend position. For example, you can do Uttrasana, the camel pose, and uh, you can also do the the Danurasana, the wheel pose, or anything that is more of the gentle back bend. So now in the, also in the in the scorpion is that uh, it requires a lot of shoulders opening and chest opening. What you can do here is that uh, you can do the hollow back, which is I'm gonna show you how it is. And I found this is uh, very effective for me. It may not be for you, but this is my technique that I would like to share. So feel free to uh, to apply it to your practice. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So we are gonna practicing uh, uh prepare our shoulders and the chest for the the scorpion. And this is what I usually do is that the uh, the hollow back um for um balance. Yeah. So we're gonna be using the wall because I cannot do hollow back without the wall uh to supporting me. All right. Okay. So what you do first is that um of course it's just like uh, how you would go into the headstand position. Yeah? I'm making sure that you are measuring the elbows. And the way I am doing this is that my knuckles, when I do hand like this, uh, let's say it's about maybe four to five inches away from the wall. If it's too far, um, it can be harder. But if you have a good uh, flexibility of your spine, it should not be uh, too, too difficult. Um, I mean, not too difficult. If your hands are far away from the wall, if you have the, a lot of um, spine flexibility, it will be okay for you. But as for myself, I don't have a lot of good uh, flexibility of my spine, meaning cannot do back bend very deeply. So my hand needs to go a little bit more closer towards the wall. All right. Okay. So with this one here, the hollow back uh, uh, for arm balance is that um, I will squeezing my hands very tightly. Yeah. And my elbows are shoulder width apart. So from this position, pushing the shoulders away from the ear, yeah, and you come into the downward facing dog position like this, yeah, but on the forearm. So what you do, I'm gonna keeping my head away from the from the mat and just look straight down to between the elbows. And then from there, yeah, I'm gonna kick myself up against the wall. All right, okay. So once I'm here, now you cannot see my feet, but my heels are touched against the wall here. I'm gonna taking the time to resting my buttocks down against the wall. Yeah, like this. Okay, so the back of the leg will also touching against the wall. When you are here, continue pushing the forearms away from the touching point firmly and also the shoulders away from the ears. And then pushing the chest forward. And stay here for a few deep breaths. So to come out, I'm going to pressing my heels against the wall so that I can lift one of my foot down and then the other foot down and then go into the child pose. Okay, so we prepare our chest and the shoulders. Uh, now we're going to go into the headstand and then go into the scorpion. All right. Measuring the elbows. Yeah, this time when you do, I do the headstand. Now my palms is uh, far apart, yeah, so that I can cradle, um, hugging uh, the back of my head easier. You can stay here for a few breaths. You find your balance. Coming down the mind and deep breathing as best as you can. And then once you are ready to go into the scorpion, first you bending the knees. Bring your knees apart, pushing the hips away from you. 
Yeah, from there, you flat your hands down. Flat the hands down. Continue pushing the hips away from you. Knees are still apart, but should not be too wide. Whoop. Oh, not easy. Okay, so let's try this again. Yeah. Um, for sure, this is uh, it's about finding the balance. Yeah. Uh, let's give it a try again and see how it goes. I'm gonna keep my knees bent. Okay, so uh, in the video, I uh, the second time here, I, I didn't explain uh, much how to how to doing that. Yeah, but on the first part, on the first try, is that um, uh, what I say is that um, you bend the knees first, yeah, knee uh, and then keep bring your knees apart. From bring your knees apart, now you're pushing the front of your hips away from you. Once you're pushing the hips are away from you. If you are pushing the hips further enough, yeah, and continue bending the knees, you will find it somewhat, uh, you will find that it is easier to lifting your head up away from the ground. Once you're lifting the head up away from the ground, yeah, you need to continue still again, pushing the hips away and then sending your eye gaze to looking up towards your thumb here, yeah. Uh, you look, uh, send your eye gaze to look up towards the thumb and then what you do you your knees are still continue bending right and then you bend your knees even more deeper so that to finding the balance are uh, in the in the scorpion pose is that um, the hips continue pushing away you're sending your eye gaze to look up to uh, to look toward the thumb pushing the shoulders away from the ears and then once you are there try to bend your knees a little bit more deeper for those who have good uh, flexibility of the spine you uh, you can try to uh, bring the toes uh, towards uh, the, the top of your head all right okay so keeping in mind is that um, back bend is not about trying to bending your back as much as you can if you feel a good stretching in front of your body from your quad muscles up towards the chest and you know roll the shoulders back if you get good stretching out from it without going too deep into the back bend uh, that's already good yeah okay remember uh, back bend is about stretching opening the front of the body and once you do the back bend with the with the arm balance, this is a little bit more challenging because you have to also uh, finding your concentration. Yeah, your concentration uh, uh, right has to be right on the spot in the present moment. Otherwise, uh, the balance won't be working out for you. Okay, ka? hope you have got an idea what to do. And if not, feel free to message me or come to my ten o'clock class. I can teaching you. Uh, I will teaching this from time to time. But anyway. Hope to see you, Kat. Bye-bye.